Thank you for being here. My name is Sam and I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can create your own free business email with your own custom domain. Using a business email makes one look more professional compared to using the Gmails and the Yahoo's of this world. So let's jump into it right away. So you're going to come here and search uh, Zoho free business email yeah it is and then you're going to go to pricing and then when you scroll down these are for the paid plans are the paid plans when you scroll down you're going to be presented with um, here it's hidden somewhere here and then you will say you want to try this now I'm being redirected to my email so first thing I want to do is I want to log out I already have a Zoho email with them, so let me log out from this first. Alright, so free Zoho. to pricing again scroll down see forever uh, free plan we're going to sign up right you're going to put in your name here and then your email address in this case you, your email address or the mobile phone number in this case you're going to use your email address or you can use your phone number if you want i prefer using your email address because you can have several email address that will give you a chance to create um, many uh, business emails using the different domains that you can have but if you input your phone number you can only use it once so you're going to use uh, put in your name, put in your email address and your password. And then you're going to be presented with this window here. You're going to be presented with this window here. Once you're in here, you're going to be told um, You're going to add these records in your in your domain registrar. So you want to copy this. You go to your domain provider. Mine is Namecheap. As you can see, this is my this is my domain that I've used. Here is my domain. Go to Namecheap, Advanced DNS. You're going to add a text record, so you're going to add a new record. Text record. You can leave it blank or Ads, and then you paste the value and then you save that so you're done with that you're going to go back here and you're going to be told to verify the text record perfect 
it has been verified our domain has been verified you're going to have uh, the username that you want to be using in this case i want to use service you can use any and then create all right and then you want to proceed to the setup You're not going to create any groups and then you say proceed to dns so you're going to put in this mx record in your domain register as well so i'm going to copy that go to your domain register text record at at first one is priority 10 copy that save changes a new record at its mx2 priority is 20 and then you're going to save that that one is um, mx3 priority 50 and then you copy that all these are presented here as you have seen these are all what i have uh, added to our domain registrar so next thing is verify mx record uh, it takes um, a few minutes so let me verify that to see whether it has been added and do it again going to perfect it has been added MX records are pointed to Zoha. Then you're going to proceed with uh, the SPF record. You're going to add this as a text record. You copy this, you go to your domain registrar. You add a new record. The text record. There you go. And then you copy that. You say OK. You say that. And then you want to verify if the record has been added. Some of these records take some time. But if you're lucky, it goes through like immediately. So our SPF record has been pointed successively. So the next thing we want to do is the DCAM. So you want to add this. It's still a text record. The value is there. The text name is here, so there you go, and then you save that. You save that, you come back here and uh, try verify that record. Verify your DCAM. Perfect, has been pointed. Then you're going to say proceed to email migration. Start data migration, not that we are adding. Then you say proceed. Your, your setup is complete. And then you're going to check out your inbox. There you go. You have a business domain. So there it is. If you check here, you'll see you can do a quick setup here and add your time zone. 
can view all your time zones and add on the tile you are in and then the display name you can change it here and then you go to next you can choose the color you want you say next and you'll be able to access to Zoho so if you check here you'll be able to see thy system service at thy system.com so I'm going to send an email to this and see whether it is working so I'm gonna go to my gmail here compose an email ready okay, to send it to thy system I'm gonna call it test then say send let's see if we have it in uh, our inbox when I refresh this There you go, our test email is here. And that is how you create uh, your business email using Zoho. It's a free forever plan, no one is going to charge you and you can download a Zoho app whereby you can be accessing this email the, way, the same way you access your Gmail using an app in your phone. And then you continue enjoying using your service and you can create uh, multiple multiple users using the same for instance you say uh, if you go to your admin console here and then you come to users and you want to add a user you can have at least five users using that very same domain assuming you want to say something like um, that you have your name the name of that um, email you have your password you create your password you confirm it you can add a photo and you can add maybe you have different uh, users in the same organization you can add, add up to five so that is how you create it and you're done and you're good to use it Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.